Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 53, Sand by Hugh Howey. Hugh Howey's novel Sand was so good. I really enjoyed it. I liked it as much as I liked his wool omnibus, and that is saying a lot. This was a very different story than Wool, however. Instead of being about a few characters and a community of people, it was more about a family. The characters are all connected by the isolated places they live, but also by blood. It was really cool to learn the family history as you learned about the story world. There were no boring info dumps. Howie skillfully lets you in on the backstory as he pushes you through the current story. It was well done. So, the story world is super cool. A world covered in sand. Kind of like Dune, but not really anything like Dune. The characters are cool too. People that have learned how to dive into the sand to bring up treasures from the old world. The coolest thing about this book for me, though were the intense situations the characters get in. Early on in the novel, the characters go into a very dangerous situation. As I read it, I was cringing and leaning forward and needing to do nothing but keep reading to find out what was going to happen. From there, you get a whole lot more story, meet new characters, and generally get the idea of what kind of horrible situation everyone is in. The world of sand would not be a fun place to live in, but reading what the characters go through is a touching, thrilling adventure. I don't want to give anything away, so I'll just end this review by saying that if you love rooting for characters and cringing as you read faster to see if they can get out of crazy situations, then read this book. If you like awesome story worlds and really cool new ideas about things characters can do in it that are different from anything we know, (laughs) then read this book. If you want to read something with real characters with fantastically realistic dialogue that sounds like living, breathing people figuring things out in their dire world, then read this book. Lastly, If you like finding small sentences sprinkled throughout a novel that describe things, people, and their surroundings, and the feelings they're experiencing with exquisite beauty, then you should read this book. Have you read any of Hugh Howey's works? He's one of my favorite authors. Not only is he a phenomenal author whose stories are some of the best I've ever read, He's also a really cool, generous, kind guy, too. A quality dude, as I would say. Awesome. Well, I've got some great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of Sand by Hugh Howey. And it's narrated by Karen Chilton. She had a phenomenal voice. She has a very distinct voice, and it was just perfect for this story. She has a very authentic, amazing voice, and I really enjoyed the way that she read this audiobook. So, thank you to Audible for sponsoring this podcast, and if you go and get a free audiobook, you can get any audiobook of your choice but I'm highly recommending Sand by Hugh Howey, narrated by Karen Chilton. If you get a free audiobook, it helps support this show, so thank you too. audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free audiobook. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh man, so I have this co-worker. He's pretty much one of my best friends. And uh, he is a very picky reader. It takes a lot to please him. 
He is who recommended The Wool Omnibus by Hugh Howie to me. I read it, I thought it was amazing, but the fact that he thought it was really good is why I was just like jumping to go download it and read it right away. Uh, and then he read this one, and so I knew I had to check it out, but I already wanted to because I really enjoy Hugh Howie's work. And this one was just as good. That's saying a lot, because Wool, I've recommended it to so many people, because it is really so good. It's one of those stories that you like keep talking about after you put it down, you think about it when you're not reading it, and Sand was the same for me. It's a really cool post-apocalyptic world covered in sand, but there's people that have these special dive suits that they can wear, and when they wear them they can control the sand around them, which allows them to dive down into the sand. But you can get in some pretty hairy situations when you're underwater, let alone if you're um, in the sand. Because if you're not using the suit, all the pounds of sand around you will just instantly crush you and kill you. So, pretty freaky situation to be underground in the sand deep below. And there are just some really cool exploratory scenes of people and tons of intense scenes and lots of great character and story world building that like make this story not just a fun adventure but like a really rich story with great deep characters. There was just a, a lot to love about this book. It was fantastic. So I'm really excited to tell you guys about it today and recommend it to you. Uh, I apologize for my voice. I've had a terrible cold for a couple weeks now. Hopefully that will go away. But thanks for sticking in there with me and recording it on a nicer microphone. So hopefully that will at least help the uh, quality of the listening experience for you guys on this episode. So uh, that's all I got for you guys this week. I hope that you have a very happy Thanksgiving to all of my American listeners and um, everyone else. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.